very grateful to be here tonight. And some of you might know there's five to 10 million people in the world today who are fighting Parkinson's disease. In fact, it's becoming so common that I'm pretty sure some of you here tonight you know, will uh, know someone who is living with this disease. A few years ago, my grandmother started complaining about pain in her left arm and stiffness. She went to the doctor, and at 59 years old, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's. We know that the movement symptoms in Parkinson's are due to the uh, loss of dopamine cells in the midbrain in a place called Substantia nigra. And the best drug against Parkinson today is basically uh, compensating for the low level of dopamine in the brain. Now, it helps a lot. It helps my grandmother and many people. But the problem is it doesn't stop the progression of the disease. What it means is that my grandmother cannot win a fight against Parkinson. For her, every day, every day is harder than the previous one. She now describes herself as a hyperactive mind locked in a sluggish body. She has trouble focusing. She loses her balance. She sleeps like four or five hours a night. And she is relentless all day to compensate for her slowness and keep her life seemingly normal to others. So the goal of uh, my group is to find a better weapon for my grandmother and millions of others to uh, win the fight against this disease. We really desperately need a better, you know, like, at least something that can slow down the progression of the disease. So how do we get there? Well, first we must understand why those dopamine cells uh, are degenerating so fast in Parkinson patients. And, you know, like most brain disorders, Parkinson is a complex disease. Each patient is unique in the sense that they, uh, the difference, you know, like the causes might be a, com a combination of different genetic predisposition, lifestyle, maybe the chemicals they're exposed to, and aging. And the initial cause of the disease might be different from my grandmother and someone else. But I believe there might be a, a point of convergence at the cellular level where the, the, something happened before the loss of dopamine. And a goal in this project is to find that molecular signature that is common to most Parkinson's patients. So again, how do we find that molecular target? Well, so most previous work until recently have been focusing on animal model, mouse model, uh, and postmodern brain tissue, human brain tissue. Now, they, these, these models are extremely valuable and they're great, but they have significant uh, short, you know, shortcomings. And uh, uh, so, for example, mice just naturally don't get Parkinson, at least as far as I know. And the postmodern human brain tissue, by the time we get there, you get them, they, they're so damaged that it's not really clear what you can get out of them. So, in this project, we're trying to take a, a new scientific strategy in which we will study live human neuron from the patient, derived from the patient themselves. We're building upon a, a new technology that we had in, in the previous talk that consists in reprogram reprogramming skin cells into stem cells and stem cells into brain cells. So basically, we start with a small skin biopsy, and it leaves no trace, no scar. So you can obtain it from a, a patient or from a healthy subject. And uh, the, then we generate live human neurons that we can study extensively in a laboratory setting. And the idea is pretty simple. You compare brain tissue from a patient, from a healthy subject, you find differences, and then you uh, try to screen compounds to uh, correct those differences. So finally, the hope is that the new drugs we might discover with these methods that will work on the patient cells in the lab have a much higher chance to succeed later on in clinical trials. So with that, I would like to uh, thank uh, the Brain Foundation, uh, thank, thank the donors um, for their generous support. It really makes a difference. Uh, and uh, I'm excited to go back to the lab and hopefully come back with some exciting results. Thank you. Thanks.